Today I went swimming, it was very chill. Obviously I couldn't really film in the pool. A bit weird for everyone who's not me. I use my swims as kind of like a, a slow moment to just like have a good swim, have a really hot shower and then wash my hair and blow dry it and like feel like an absolute boss coming out of the pool. Just like, I'm so clean. And then I went to the local refill shop um, I basically was donating some of the jars that I wasn't using. I live with four other people and we get through a lot of jars as a house. Pasta jars, like pesto, red sauce, onion and garlic sauce, like anything. I love the onion and garlic sauce from Tesco. So good. We probably have about at least probably six or so jars a week, which is quite a lot. I've been collecting them for my own use. I've made a little spice collection, which I'll show you at some point. Basically anything that I want to put in a jar, I will put in a jar because we have the same of every jar really. So it just looks really intentional and aesthetic. Me and my jars is a whole nother conversation um, and a, probably a whole other video to be honest. But to summarize that, the reason I was at the refill shop, that's where I was, was because I had some extras and I thought, oh, I'll donate them considering they asked for some as well, like so that people can just have free jars to take and use to buy refill stuff. I love refill shops. I think they're really good. And especially in the UK, we don't have enough of them. So the ones that do exist, I really try to support as much as I can. It's not completely feasible for me to buy everything from refill shops because they, they can be like kind of expensive. Depends what you buy. Herbs and spices are the cheapest thing to buy from them. So I always have done that. When you start branching out into other things, it can get a bit more expensive. But I think I'm going to do a video about that because I basically went through and price checked <laughs> everything at the refill shop just to see what's cheaper and what's not. And it does vary depending on what you're buying. So but while I was there, I thought, do you know what? I am going to buy something. So ref this particular refill shop in Belfast, which is, they've got two shops and they're really good, have these weighing machines where you can like put on your jar, weigh the empty jar, then it has a little barcode and you go and fill up the jar, come back and then it type in what you want. Um, and then, great, take it to the till. So easy, so much, just, it's just a good system. I forgot <laughs> about this. I, I didn't. I knew it was a thing. I like knew that that it was a system at the shop, but for some reason it just didn't cross my mind to weigh my jar before I started filling it. So this is what I bought. I bought mint imperials. A bit rogue, but the mints that I keep in my drawer have nearly run out. So I thought, Do you know what? Let's get some refill mints because these would normally come in a plastic bag. So I was like, great. I'll buy some mints. So I start filling this jar and mind you, these are loud. As you pour them in, they make a really loud noise. So I did that and then I realised, I was like, oh no, I haven't weighed my jar. And then the lady's like, oh, it's fine. Just go put it in a paper bag. So I go over and tip it into a paper bag. I think the lady thought I was going to then buy them in the paper bag, but I just thought they might fall out. It's a bit of a faff, like, oh. So then <laughs> I filled the paper bag with these mint imperials, weighed my jar, great and then put them back in. And then it was the same like noise again. I think she was just like, what is this girl doing? But in the end, we got a jar full of mint imperials. I think I paid like one pound 50 or something, which is pretty normal. So maybe a little bit pricey, but I get to have them in the, this nice jar.
That's okay.